Welcome back to our group travel series. In our previous video, we toured the markets of Seattle and did a little climb over at Mount Rainier. And today we are taking you back downtown once again to see one of the biggest tourist traps in Seattle. It is our second day in Seattle and we are starting off by heading down to Starbucks, but we're going to a different one today. We are going to the Starbucks Reserve Roastery. And yesterday we went to the Pike Place location. So heading down to the roastery and then I think we're going to the Space Needle after that. So all of this is within walking distance. So um, we're gonna get a little exercise this morning, uh, but yeah, excited to check it all out today. We made it. They have a tasting room. Oh wow, this is really cool. So we made it to the Roastery Reserve and how cool is this? This is awesome. And it's like huge in here. So I think this is the line over here where you actually order. Um, I see them making food and stuff over there too. They have a ton of unique merchandise to the Roastery Reserve. And then over here, uh, they have like a bar where you can have cocktails. It's like a bar lounge area. That is so cool. All right, so I have no idea if Taylor's actually started the vlog yet for today or not, but I had to drop the car off at the airport and uh, everybody was just at the reserve grocery or something like that for Starbucks. And uh, we're now gonna make our way down the street uh, over to the Space Needle. So uh, I don't know what all the plans are for today because I'm just not sure. So to get to the Space Needle, we use the monorail. It's just like Disney's monorails at their theme parks. And from the State Hotel, which is where we were staying at while we were in Seattle, it was a short, maybe five to 10 minute walk to the station. And while it's not free, costing $3.25 per person per way, it is relatively cheap and there are discounts for seniors, military, and others. It operates Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. The monorail connects two different stations, West Lake Center, which is the station that was closest to the State Hotel, and Seattle Center, home of all the Seattle tourist traps. Make sure you take a picture of that too on your camera. Well, we made it to the Space Needle. We're at, what's this called? Westlake. Some of us are gonna go up and do the Space Needle. Uh, it's pretty easy to do once you get here. You do have to select a time once you purchase your ticket. It is like $39 plus tax per person. Um, so it's a little costly. I mean, this is kind of like a touristy trap type of thing. So, but uh, yeah, you know, we're going to go up and check it out, get some cool views. I don't know what exactly we're going to see because I have never been up there before, but uh, have some fun. Are you still going to do it? Oh, God, no. Is it the hike thing? I didn't know you didn't like hikes. I'm only going to He's not getting my life insurance And I unscrewed bolts last night for nothing. What? You did what? Nothing. General emission. Select one regular, one senior. So, so 1230, 1245, 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 yeah. Good to see ya. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Well, thank you very much. I'm always still surprised whenever somebody recognizes us, especially when we are not in Walt Disney World, and uh, I was still taken aback by that. But 
if you're wondering about how long it took us to wait in this line, um, it took us, I want to say close to almost 40 minutes. By the time that we actually got on the line and finally got to the other elevator to take us upstairs, it was about 40 minutes of waiting. And uh, that was after our return time, which was at 1230. So uh, what's really kind of interesting is that you have this line uh, that goes up and above the gift shop. And so Alan and I were basically standing here looking over and deciding what kind of stickers that we might buy to put on our luggage uh, because we could see them, you know, and so they had different stuff and that's what we were that's what we were doing to pass the time uh, as we waited the other one's probably the space needle with seattle something below it or so 20 foot destination in just 41 seconds the large body of water you see in front of you is Elliott Bay, and you may see some ferry boats during your visit today because Washington has the largest ferry system in the U.S. Beyond the water, you can see the Olympic Mountain Range, home of Hurricane Ridge, and the whole rainforest, which receives nearly 12 feet of rain per year. At the top, the Space Needle sways approximately one inch for every 10 miles per hour wind, but no need to worry. It was built to withstand winds up to 150 miles per hour. Make sure you visit the revolving glass floor on the lower level, which is also where you will find the exit elevators. Have a good time, everyone. So while Josh is over doing the Space Needle, Kate, Zach, and I weren't really interested in that, so we came over to the Museum of Pop Culture, or MoPop, and we're just gonna check it all out, see what's all in here. Uh, there is this really cool, like, guitar sculpture behind us. Uh, but I saw another really awesome looking room over here, so we're just gonna check it all out. So this is really cool. There's some Star Wars in here in the science fiction area. Greedo and a Jawa. <laughs> So we've officially made it up top and you can buy some drinks and some snacks. And uh, they told us that uh, for every 10 miles per hour of wind, the Space Needle will sway one inch, which is kind of crazy. But uh, it takes 42 seconds in the elevator to come up. And uh, we're gonna head outside and take a look around. So the group and I went and walked around the top area here, which is pretty cool. It's all open to uh, the outside, right? So if it's raining, you might get wet up there, um, but it's really cool and offers just these wide, you know, landscape shots that you can get uh, on your camera and uh, seeing the mountain range in the background, really, really nice. Now, what is also kind of cool is that they offer uh, photographers up there so they'll take your photos. They're not necessarily the greatest photos, but still really cool. And they're included in the downloads that you can get. Okay, sorry. That's okay. And one, two, three. And one more. One, two, three. Nice. Perfect. Thank you. Got a great view of downtown. Thank you. Pretty cool. It is. It's amazing to see that thing just, just back I mean, it's just, it's, yeah. And because of the clouds, it looks like it's just floating. floating. Yeah. Yeah. Once we finished walking around this upper deck, there's actually a lower deck that you can go to, which has a glass bottom floor, which I think is really cool because I love that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, just adds a little bit of... Uh, thrill to your to your walk around so this is cool so we just came down one level and you can actually walk out on the glass Whoa. oh yeah and we're rotating too so. oh because Wow. Um, it's all enclosed, so it's inside, but you can still look right down below your feet and see people down below. So we're getting ready to go eat dinner here in a little bit, but um, walking through the marketplace, I got this place here and this pizza looks uh, fantastic. So. Kayla and I are going to share it, for the most part. So, 
So it's a little bit loud in here, but we have made our way down to one of the piers here in Seattle to the crab pot. And a bunch of us are having dinner together that are here in Seattle already. Uh, it, it was just going to be a couple of us, and then everybody's like, oh, okay, we're coming. So we got a whole big group in here together. Uh, most. Yeah, pretty much everybody here was on our first group cruise, but we are really excited to meet everybody tomorrow when we actually get on the ship because there are some people on here that didn't come on our first group cruise, and that's kind of what we hope to do with this, is to keep growing our group every single year so that there's just so many of us so we can eventually just fill a ship or fill a floor on a ship. Either one. Either one's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Next time, from Alaska. Cannot wait. Woo! Oh, he's waving. <laughs>